Yeah. everyone good morning and welcome to today's video we're gonna be doing a road ride today that means taking the road bikes out for an endurance ride uh, we have three hours on the docket today pretty chilly out here although the Sun is out uh, supposed to be sunny all day so the temperature is supposed to go up a little bit uh, around in the 50s later on so hopefully um, whatever I'm wearing is enough to uh, to start off with. I'll just be pretty chilly in the beginning and then hopefully as we keep riding, I'll warm up. Let's hope. So we're gonna take you guys along with us. Yeah. And the chain is really quiet. Yeah, thanks for uh, waxing it. Well, guys, this is the first road ride we're doing this year. Out here on the road bikes, getting some endurance miles in. We find that it's actually, or at least I find that it's easier to do an endurance ride on the road bike than on gravel because there are some steep roads up around here but it's not as uh, grindy as some of the uh, gravel roads. You know, the gravel roads are, it's rolling also here, but it's, it's just a lot easier to, to do a, an endurance ride, a zone two ride. I actually feel after riding on gravel, I actually feel stronger on the road bike. Yeah, I think gravel is is harder on the whole body. Uh, you know, I think you have to have a little bit more upper body strength to ride gravel than, than road. Uh, yeah, I would, yeah, I tend to agree that it's easier to to do a zone two ride on the road bike. Um, the only issue we have here is that where we live, it's pretty hilly. You know, all the, uh, the roads that are close to our house, most of them are pretty hilly, uh, so Today we're attempting to do a three hour endurance ride and it's not gonna be possible to stay in zone two 100% of the time because um, there are some steep hills that we have to go through. But we'll just do our best to keep a lid on it.
just be careful where they have construction down on the left here as soon as you turn into that road. some nice homes. I wonder if it's the same builder. Well, toes are frozen. <laughs> yeah. They'll be fine later. Yeah, this is good.
see, that was fun. I love doing that. Like zone two on Candlewood. It makes me want to do time trialing. Because I like the steady power output. Oh, no. What'd you say? I tried to say car back. I had food in my mouth. It turned off anyway. So, the tricky thing about some of these hills is I have to do threshold to climb it. So, hard to do zone two. I'm actually staying close to zone two oh, right now, yeah. Unless you grind it. Yeah, 40 something RPMs. <laughs> We're on Erickson Road right now and it's a pretty flat road, pretty well paved. There's a little, um, there's some potholes and I love to do, I love to ride on this road because for one thing, it's really quiet. And uh, the other reason is uh, I like to work on my TT position, uh, really going low and getting low and um, being as aero as I can. This has been the, uh, I believe, the uh, second or third time that I've been working on an aero position on the road bike. Um, it's kind of hard to do that on the gravel bike um, because I think from the handlebar to the end of the the seat it's too far so i feel like i'm reaching a little bit more and that's probably why i have some back problems on on the gravel bike whereas the reach on this bike it's not as far and i can it's probably because i also have this saddle the cell san marco saddle and it's longer and because it's longer it allows me to move up further and really get on that crouching position and get comfortable in that aero position it's kind of my first time talking directly to the camera today because I'm finding it hard. One one thing that um, I've noticed with these new cameras is that the button to turn it on is, I'm finding it hard to, to press it, um, particularly w with wearing gloves. Um, hopefully that'll become a non-issue when it gets a little warmer and I'm wearing gloves that have no fingers on them. But the the positive about uh, turning these cameras on that I really like is that it has a sound when it turns on and it also lights up the display so it's it's easier to see when the camera is on um, versus the old cameras that we were using. It was a little difficult to tell sometimes if the camera was actually recording but this one it's it's pretty much you know, it makes it easy to tell that it's recording. Um, anyway, about the ride so far, it's uh, it's a nice day. It's still a little cold, but starting to warm up. And at least it's nice and sunny. And yeah, this is our first road bike ride, um, outdoor road bike ride of, of 2023. And it's gonna be about a three hour uh, endurance ride. And we're just keeping it pretty easy today. And um, yeah, it's everything's going well so far. Okay, so this is Elbow Hill. Gets pretty steep. Switch back.
car back. Well, I was able to keep my heart rate in zone two on Elbow Hill. <laughs> Oh, the steep, the steep parts I had to do like 230 watts, but you know, they're, they're short, so it wasn't long enough for, to get my heart rate up. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm in the garage now. Uh, just got back and Jason went to do an extra 20 minute uh, loop around to get his, I guess he has, I think he has about like three and a half hours of endurance riding today, um, according to his training plan. So I was only doing 245, uh, but it's three hours total now. And yeah, that was a good first road ride of the year. Uh, I feel a lot more comfortable for some reason uh, doing the climbs and sprinting on this bike. And if you're curious to know what I have, this is what I am, what I was riding today. Um, it's a Fizari Empire SL. You could see the, I don't know if you could see the logo there. Um, it's a uh, brand based off of Utah and it they sell direct. I, I love riding this bike. It's so comfortable and I think I said this before that it's really comfortable to go aero and uh, I rarely ever get sore back uh, after riding three, today was three hours, so I rarely ever get sore back riding uh, three hours on this. And so I'm not sure if it's the bike or or maybe because it's just riding on the roads and, and riding on gravel, you know, your body takes a, a beating uh, from that. But I'm going to go back inside and get something to eat and stretch out. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to enjoy your rides. We're good. Ugh.